right, so I'm just going to give you a little look at how to make these feel boxes for tactile programs for Peak. So there's a couple different ways you could do them. I've seen on Amazon some really cool like mystery boxes that you could use for these programs. For us though, we just used plain Kleenex boxes, um, emptied all the Kleenexes out obviously, and cut a larger hole, and then just got some stretchy fabric that we cut in the same you know shape and size as the top of the box cut our slit in and then we just put our items inside so we just did a demo on this so that's why they're still labeled so we have two that have pokey blocks in them two that have sandpaper in them two that have sticky tape in them and two that have cotton balls in them so usually we just try and kind of secure them down to the bottom and fill them so that we really make sure that the person putting their hand in is getting like a good handful sorry these have kind of gotten a little demolished so we need to kind of fix them up but so like this one is sticky tape we just balled up duct tape and put it inside so there's lots of different textures that you can feel something that's soft something that's sticky something that's pokey and something that's rough, we just have sandpaper in the bottom here, and we just have it hot glued to the bottom so that it doesn't get pulled out. Um, and we just have them doubled up so that they're really easy to do comparisons. So as you saw in our demo when we run this, it sometimes helps to have that visual out. Obviously, we wouldn't have, you know, these stickers on here, but we would, you know, have the person feel in the boxes and then use these as a visual of comparison. Are these the same? Are these the same so that they're looking at the two boxes um, and visually seeing that representation instead of just recalling with their mind um, we might prompt them as you saw in our demo video you know we repeat the SD once um, that would be at an eight and then kind of helping them you know maybe feel what's in the box how does that feel feel in this box how does that feel if that still doesn't work having them put both hands in simultaneously and feeling them both at the same time and labeling them and that would probably bring them down to a two um, but those are just kind of correction procedures and ways you can work with um, tactile matching for example we also use the same box method for um, in the equivalence assessment, the equivalence pre-assessment, which we also have a video of that up, we use the same Kleenex box method um, for the tactile parts in that um, assessment as well. So I hope that was a little bit helpful of just kind of a budget-friendly way to make these tactile boxes.